well, tonight we're celebrating the work of uh, your favourite. Now, uh, <laughs> my next guest is a beautiful actress. I mean, I've... Uh, wow. <laughs> She's in a new film, The Last Stand, which is in theatres January the 18th. Take a look at this. That's right up ahead. I'm in. I'm in! <laughs> Genesis Rodriguez, everybody! What? What a lovely dress. Thank you look you. sensational. I wore it for you. Really? Yes, I what, did. What, in order to sell it to me? Uh, <laughs> my plan is to seduce you. Seduce me? Yes. Oh, you know I what? heard you're a big flirt, and I like flirting. <laughs> I really do. I love it. Really? You yeah. follow old men around flirting with them? No, I... no. I like the ones who engage back. Oh, well, I, 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 I absolutely, yeah. Uh, so show me what you got. No, you can't put me on the spot like that and say, show me what you got. You've got you to, to work up to it a little bit. Got. Buy me dinner and don't just run in and muss my hair. Come on. Jeff? Nothing? Hi, I'm Jeff and I'm no longer gay. <laughs> That's awesome. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he says that, but you get him behind closed doors, he's still gay. Oh. <laughs> hey, how's yeah. it going? You look, you look, you look fantastic, though. Thank I mean, really, you. very, very nice. Genesis, that's such a lovely name. Are you very religious? Um, no. Um, I, my parents are huge Phil Collins fans, so that's how it happened. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? They call you. Just as well, they weren't in a Pink Floyd, I Not suppose. Not really, but isn't that a good story? Yeah, it's a good story. Do you like Genesis? I do. Do you like them uh, before uh, Peter, Peter Gabriel, Gabriel left or after? I, I don't complain. I like I like their music regardless. I think it's kind of cool. I actually got an A in computer class because the guy was a huge Genesis fan. So, so I he was just like, gave you an A. Right yeah, it was just <laughs> it was just because of your name, yeah, Genesis. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing going on, you know. No, stop <laughs> it. So where did you go to computer class then? Um, Miami. Miami? Yes. Is that where you're from? Yeah, I'm from Miami. Oh, do you roll a blade backwards up this, this with a little thong on? Um... Because <laughs> I, I do that every time I'm in Miami. I, I would love to see that for myself. Um, I don't do that. I got I, a tattoo in Miami it. once. Did you? Where? Uh, in Miami. No, where? Oh, uh, on, on my arm here. The one that I have here uh, on my arm. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, nice. it's nice. From Amy James, who was working there at the oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know Amy? I don't. Oh, okay. But maybe uh, I know of him. Do you have any so. tattoos? I do. I have one here. Oh. I have one on my foot. Oh, wow. Um, I don't recommend it. What, having one on your foot? Yeah, yeah it's, it's very painful. Yeah, I know. And don't... Here is painful, too, though. Not that bad. I... Shut up, it I was. Feel like, I feel like... <laughs> Whatever happened was I, I drank some tequila before that, and tequila's a bit of an upper, so... Is it? I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah, it is, um, so you know. Um, Do you have a drinking problem? No, I don't. I just had some to get the tattoo. I mean... Oh, yes. I was oh, kind yeah. of frightened of needles. Right, so right. I just had a shot of, I think, two. Right. And, um, and when I started, I was like, oh, God, make it stop, but then it was just going to look really bad, so... I... No, you have to finish it or wear a sock for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. It's quite... It's Sock of shame is going on. <laughs> a yeah. cement sock. Yeah. No. No, that's when you that's when you get killed by the mafia. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah, okay. they they give you a they go, hey, you're gonna be wearing a cement sock. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Don't. Sometimes when the audience feel sorry for me, they applaud. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Are you, do you still live in Miami, or are you out here now? Well, I'm out here, but I go out there for the holidays, and I was just there now, and it's so great. I ate so much. I feel really? good, though. Yeah, yeah. How come you look at me? I am a really, I'm good, you know, to eat. And oh, I think, yeah. Um, of course. So now that we're on this... That's, you know, that, okay, now that we're on this, um, yeah, all right. Um, I really have this great story that happened. Do you want to hear about it? Oh, okay. Okay. So I had some of this wonderful little potion. It's called... It's like a mixture of melatonin and some natural things to go to sleep. It's a sleeping aid, and it's natural. 
So, sure. Okay. So is heroin. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And I'm not interested. Anywho. Right. So I drank some of this, you know, to, you know, change times and get used to my Jet lag, jet lag. Right, 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 right. And um, well, I wake up and I am covered in pistachios. I had a great sleep, but covered in pistachio shells. I got super frightened because I thought somebody had like, you know, vandalized me with pistachio shells. <laughs> and I, I was literally covered and I was like, oh my gosh, someone came in and just threw pistachio shells at me. And, and I'm, I'm talking to myself and I taste my mouth and I ate and shelled pistachios in my sleep. I sleep, eat, I, eat, I don't even take time that's, to sleep. That's, uh, I eat Are you so sure? Much. Because sometimes I've drim drinking things that I didn't know what they were and then I wake up with nuts on me. That happened. Does it? No! no. It, it happens. It happens. It happens. But you really do, you have sleep. I have that's, sleep. That's a real thing disorder. though, that's a thing. It's a sleep apnea or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you've got to be careful with that. What if you ate something and you choked? That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Yeah, you've got to put a, a lock on the refrigerator or maybe sleep in, in a place where there's no food. Absolutely. I mean, but I, I went, I, I don't know. I don't know why I chose such a hard thing to eat because like, it's not something that you You had just, no choice in the matter. You I, were asleep. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it's not like you could said, oh, I'll just make myself some toast. You couldn't. <laughs> You mustn't blame yourself. That's the main thing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here to help. All right. <laughs> I like that. I like you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, we're out of time. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what else have you been up to then? Um, well, promoting this movie. Oh, yeah, the movie. Clip. Yeah, we should talk about it. That was great when the car went whoo. I know. Yeah, yeah no, I like you. that. I was in there the whole time. Did you have to stay very quiet while they were doing that noise? Mm. So you, you were upside down in the car going... Oh. I lost my voice at that point. I didn't have a voice. And well, it's all right. You weren't meant to speak in that bit. Anyway. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the car's acting, not mine. So. Cars can act? Yes, absolutely. In this movie, it does. Really? Is mm. it like Knight Rider? Mm. Come on, David. That? Like that? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. We really like are out too. of time. Do you want some coconuts? Sure. I've got uh, about eight. Um, I'd like... Is, am I, are you going to crack it open for me? or? I'm just taking a coconut? Whatever you want. I thought maybe you'd like to keep it until you were asleep. <laughs> that would be very hard yeah. to open. Yes, please. All right. Well, watch your dress. It could get messy. <laughs> uh, throw up. <laughs> oh, really, this could this will get splashy. Maybe you should go over there. <laughs> I just like watching you go. <laughs> All right. Ready? Ready. There you are. Jeff, I have a problem with your behavior this evening. Oh, do tell, Mr. Ferguson. Well, I thought you came on rather strong to that young lady, Genesis Rodriguez. <laughs> oh, did you? And what is your proof, Mr. Ferguson? Well, first of all, you're uh, gay, but you, uh, you said you weren't gay in order to get her to be your special sexy friend. Can you blame me? Not in the slightest, sir. <laughs> Did you just do this to me? <laughs> I see. I can tell the producer is somewhat perturbed because the show's running over and yet I continue to talk. <laughs> it's almost as if I'm expressing my disdain for his authoritarian ways. <laughs> <laughs> I do love when you exert your power, Mr. Ferguson. In that case, I bid you good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>